In this video, I'll be showing you a major overhaul we have done to the notification preferences in BuddyBoss platform. And everything I'm about to show you extends into BuddyBoss app as well. We've made it easier for members to manage their notification preferences for email, web, and app all in a single place. And we've made it easier for site admins to manage which notification types should be available to their members. And to manage what the default options should be for email, web, and app. We've also made it easier to access the email templates for each notification type. And if any email templates are missing, we've added a tool to quickly restore them. We've also made it much simpler for developers to create their own custom notifications using our new modern BuddyBoss Notifications API. This release is a major overhaul to the notifications component with a lot of improvements. And I think you're going to really appreciate these updates. With that, let's jump into the WordPress admin so I can show you how it works. Here we are in the WordPress admin at BuddyBoss Settings Notifications. And if I scroll down, you can see we have this new settings area for notification types. And then we can see this warning telling us to enable the notification preferences feature in BuddyBoss Labs to manage the notification types used on the site. We are releasing this update as our first BuddyBoss Labs feature. Depending on when you watch this video, this step may or may not be necessary. Right now at launch, this feature can only be enabled through BuddyBoss Labs. But at some point in the future, this won't be a requirement anymore and these new notification settings will be available automatically. So let's go ahead and click this link to go to BuddyBoss Labs so we can enable the feature. BuddyBoss Labs is a new way for us to give customers early access to a feature where you can try it and opt into it and experiment with it in your own time. If you don't want to use it yet, or if you need time to update to get ready for it, you can still use the latest version of BuddyBoss platform and it just won't have this new feature. Everything will work just the way it did before the update, using the older email preferences settings instead. The reason we are releasing this under Labs is that we've changed a lot of the methodology for how notifications are registered. So if you or your developer has registered custom notifications, or if a third-party plugin you are using has done so, then you may need to update how those notifications are registered for full compatibility with our new preferences. Specifically, if you've implemented custom app push notifications, you'll want to rewrite those using the modern notifications API to make them available to members in their notification preferences. You can click this link to read our documentation for updating your notifications to take advantage of the new notifications API. But if your site doesn't have any custom written notifications, then you should feel comfortable enabling this feature right now. So let's go ahead and enable notification preferences. And I'll click on save settings. And now we can click here to go back to our notification settings. And now when I scroll down to notification types, we can see that we have a whole new set of options available. As a site admin, I now have the ability to manage all of the different BuddyBoss notification types. And if you register custom notifications using our new notifications API, they will appear in this list as well with the same options available. Let's go to the front end for a moment. This is our old email preferences page. But now that we have enabled the new notifications feature, let's refresh this page and see what happens. And you can see it switches to the newer version, allowing your members to manage the notifications they receive by email, just like before. And now they can also manage their notifications for web and for app, all from the single page. If I click my profile dropdown, you can see the link to this page has changed to account, notification preferences. Let me quickly show you where these three options are coming from. For email, this is referring to the emails that are generated with each notification. Your members can choose to disable receiving emails for any specific notification type. And if they prefer, they can even disable all email notifications at once. 
For web, this is for the notifications that appear in the corner of your screen. These come from our on-screen notifications feature. If on-screen notifications is disabled, then it will be removed from the notification preferences as well. You can see the info box and the preferences for web notifications have now been removed. You will still receive all notifications here, but the associated on-screen notifications in the corner of the website will not appear anymore. And then our last notification type is for BuddyBoss app notifications, which are notifications that get pushed to your mobile device. You will notice we have one notification type that is only available for the app for receiving a manual notification from a site admin. This comes from the feature for sending manual push notifications to your members' mobile devices in BuddyBoss app. This notification type, along with the rest of these app notification preferences, are only available if you are using BuddyBoss app and if you have enabled the push notifications component at BuddyBoss app components. If I disable the push notifications component, or if I'm not using BuddyBoss app plugin, then the preferences for app notifications disappear as well. Let me quickly show you how this new notification preferences screen looks in BuddyBoss app, and then we'll come back to the WordPress admin to customize these notification settings. Here I am in BuddyBoss app. I can tap on settings and then notification preferences. And just like on the web, I can customize which notifications I want to receive for each notification type. Let's change this one, which is currently set to all, I can disable it for web and app, and then I can close the modal. And just like that, this notification type has now been set to only send emails. I can also tap this info icon in the upper right to learn more about the three different notification types. As you can see, notification preferences have now been unified across all of your members' devices, providing a really nice experience. So now let's jump back into the WordPress admin and we'll start configuring the settings for these notification types. If we disable any specific notification type, then that notification will no longer be generated for any member. So for example, let's uncheck this notification type for a member receives a new message under the private messaging section. And I'll scroll down and click save settings. And then back at our notification preferences, we can see the associated preference for that notification type. Let's refresh the page. And now we can see it has been removed from the notification preferences and your members will no longer receive any notifications when they receive a new message. And then we have these preferences for email, web, and app. By default, whenever a new user joins the site, all of these will be enabled for every notification type but I can easily change these defaults in the admin options. I can click on manage defaults for this notification type, and then let's leave email checked and we'll uncheck both web and app, and I'll save these settings. And now whenever a new user joins the site, by default, web and app will be unchecked for them and so they will only receive email notifications for this notification type. Of course, they can still check web and app later if they decide on their own that they do want to receive those notifications as well. Seeing that your members will potentially be receiving a lot of email notifications, you'll want to make sure that the content for each email is written in a way that makes sense for your community. And you'll also want to make sure that every notification type actually has a corresponding email template for it. So we've made this all easier to manage as well. Let's go back into our admin options. For each notification type, we've added this button to make it super easy for you to find the corresponding email template that will get triggered for that notification. Let's click the button. And then I could easily modify the content for this email template. Let's go back. 
We've added this new alert telling us that we have two emails missing. Until I repair this issue, these notifications will not actually generate an email, even if the email preference has been checked. So let's click the notice to repair it. And we get this pop-up showing us all the notification types that are missing a corresponding email template. Let's click Install Missing Emails. And this brings us to our new tool to install missing emails from the defaults. And we can click Repair Items to run the tool. And just like that, the emails have been restored. I'll click View Emails. And those two missing email templates have been created for me. And we no longer have any notices about missing emails. I want to show you one more feature that we've added in this update, which is the ability to hide group messages and private messages from notifications. Normally, if you receive a private message, you will also get a notification telling you that you received a private message. We've gotten feedback that some customers don't like this behavior. To improve the experience, we've added this new option to hide these types of notifications. Let's check the option and I'll click on Save Settings. And then let's go back to the front end. And now the message still appears in the Messages dropdown, but it no longer shows as a notification in the Notifications dropdown or on the Notifications page. Notifications for this message will still get sent externally via email, web, and app. They will just be hidden from the Notifications list providing a simpler experience. This update is a major improvement, resolving so many requests brought up by customers and making the entire notifications experience much easier to manage for both site admins and for your members. This update also gives us the foundation needed to launch web push notifications, which will allow your members to receive notifications in their desktop browsers, even when they're not on your website. Managing web push notifications will be integrated into these new preferences as well.